okay? Yes, come in. Oh, I, please come in. This I know. is so pretty. Isn't it? Ah, you look so oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Nice to see you. Lovely to see you. It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. Should please I, have a that seat. Me? That's okay. for you. Yeah. One might think we coordinated. I know. But one would be wrong. Well, that's true. It's but, just um, a psychic coordination. Yeah. Sarah, Jessica, congratulations on all of your success in everything you've done, uh, but specifically your fragrance, Lovely. Yes. It has been the best-selling perfume in Australia for three years now, and, of course, it's been around since 2005. What was the reason that you decided to create fragrance? What drew you to that? Well, like many children, male and female, I was, um, I, was, I, I was often my mother's audience as she got ready to leave the house. My mother didn't go out a lot and she didn't have a particularly glamorous or extravagant life, but on the occasion when she would go out, she would get ready and we would sit and watch or would be witness in some part, some part of the process and the last thing she would do was spray fragrance and then we would all be sort of downwind of my mother, you know? Yeah. And I think it's what began my relationship with fragrance. Like, I had very specific memories about it. Obviously, smell is um, can be very sentimental for us. It can be transportive, you know, um, nostalgic. And I think I started loving fragrance just watching my mother get ready at night and also just remembering how it, it smelled and she smelled. And she kind of became something else when she left the house, probably the person she was much more, you know, and she was able to not be, you know, I'm one of eight kids. So, I mean, when it's likely that she was like, we were watching the transformation of who she remembered herself being before she became, yeah. you know, the warden of a... <laughs> I understand. A juvenile, penile yeah. colony, like, it, you know. So I think maybe for us it was like seeing her the way maybe her grown-up friends saw her, you know. And you released Born Lovely last year, which also has been a massive success. What sets your perfumes apart? I think I wanted it to be in people's lives for a long time, mm. the way my mother had her fragrance. And what I wanted was something that felt classic and, yes, feminine, but that suited a lot of people. I always said it was an extremely polite perfume, but it was also very hospitable. Like, you could help tell it what it should be. Like, you could project onto Lovely. Some fragrances are really have such uh, such a strong personality. You know, you are only... You have to fit into their life. Yeah, right. But Lovely had the ability and still does to, to, to be a lot of things to a lot of people. And so your work is just so demanding. You do so much. When you get home after being away, what is your go-to meal that feeds your soul? Well, we cook a lot in our house. We cook almost every single meal. My husband's a very, 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 very good cook. Oh, lucky you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really lucky. And I cook a lot, and it's not for me to say if I'm a good cook, but so far... <laughs> People tell People you. seem to be thriving. Kids tell um, you if you know good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there are things that they really love um, that I cook, but I also, there are things that Matthew makes. So I think we're nourished. Like, we love lamb stew. Mm -hmm. I make a lamb stew that I'm very proud of. But the kids all love it. Um, chili, roast chicken. Mm -hmm. um, Matthew makes beautiful pastas, and he makes beautiful uh stews and soups, beautiful soups. We eat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of salads in our house. My daughter is now, my daughter, one daughter in particular, makes the salad dressing incredible. She, like, chops shallots and mixes, and she's a great cook. And, you know, we love food in our house, and um, we don't deprive ourselves. I think great food alone is wonderful, but I think the nourishment comes really from the company you keep. Like, yes. you can have a great meal, and you might choose to be alone, and that's quite nice too, right? Mm -hmm. But... It really is nice when we're all together, you know. I think the nourishment comes in a lot of ways. So you've followed so many dreams. What's next for you? Um, I'm going to do a play with my husband on Broadway, so we're going to we'll start work on that in a couple of months. I'm excited and nervous. And, and then after that, it'll be my son's senior year, so I really want to be home next year. I really want to be home and do short trips and really focus on the businesses and the acting just uh, take a teeny break, just because it, it it really calls your attention elsewhere, and I, I want my attention to be on, on home next year. Sarah Jessica, thank you so much for your generosity. It's been amazing to chat with you. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to see you. <laughs>